Have you all seen the new photo restoration neural filter in Photoshop? They have released it to their beta version and it is now available to test out and see what it looks like. And it honestly is absolutely incredible. So if you have any old photos and you want to bring them back to life, you can do it with a few simple clicks. So with that being said, to be able to do this, you need to first of all, open up your creative cloud. You want to go down to the beta apps. And then in here, you want to go ahead and download yourself the Photoshop beta. Once you've installed it and you've got it up to date, you can then open it up and this will then allow you to test it out. In order to be able to use this new feature, you go to filter and then go down to neural filters. Wait for this to load. And what you want to do is you want to scroll all the way down near the bottom. And now you will see a photo restoration filter right at the bottom. Go ahead and download this. Make sure you have it installed on your computer so then you can turn this feature on. It will start to process and as you can see already we have amazing results straight away. Even with the default settings you can see that the face is 10 times more clear compared to before. So that is honestly the part that I find mind-blowing. Just how crisp clear the face looks now compared to before. And speaking of face, we also have over to the right side, all of the adjustment settings. Starting off with the first one, we have the photo enhancement. This is the feature which allows you to either decrease the intensity of the restoration, or you can increase it to a much higher number to make it more intensive. You can see the difference between these is how much the AI will restore this photo. However, the only downside to this is if you set this number way too high, let's say to something like 100, that's when the background starts to become a lot more blurry. And what I've noticed is that the face will stay clear no matter what, and the background usually gets more blurry. And speaking of faces, we also have the face enhance. If you didn't want it to enhance the face whatsoever, you can untick this and it won't really focus on the face. We also have other features such as scratch reductions. So for example, if you have multiple scratches in your picture, you can see them we have everywhere on this picture. You can take this one and this one will reduce the amount of scratches on this picture right here. Another thing that I've noticed is it may take a little longer than normal for it to process. So if you're changing the settings and you won't see any changes, you may need to give it a little bit longer. And as you can see, it has now removed these scratches. So you can see before and after, we now have a much clearer image. Underneath this, we also have the adjustments. You will have the noise reduction, color noise, half tone, artifacts, and JPEG artifacts. Starting off with the color noise and the noise in general. Let's say your image had little pixelated areas or little dotted areas and just any background noise in general. You can increase this slide right here to then remove that noise in the background. And there we go, as you can see, the background is now more softer and the noise has been removed. Underneath this, we have the color noise. So for example, if you had color noise in the background, you can remove it. However, for this image, I won't really need it since it's in black and white. It's not really going to do much of a difference. The last two are also really good. You have the halftone artifacts and the JPEG artifacts. The first one is all to do with if you have the print effect and if you have any areas which have multiple dots. And then finally, the very last one is the JPEG artifacts. This one is really useful because a lot of images are JPEGs. And what this will do is it will fix up the compression and the damaged image. Other than that though, from here, if you wanted to, you can also get yourself the colorize filter right here, and this will colorize this black and white image and give it some life. This will give it color and make it look like it is a more modern photo. However, I'm not going to go into too much detail on this feature because I have a separate video on my channel that fully explains it. So I'm just going to briefly go over it. You have the profile which you can set so for example, if you wanted to use some of these templates, you can use them right here. You can also change the saturation. You have the channels, which you can change around. And of course the color artifacts and noise reduction. If you wanted to fix up any areas, for example, if this top was supposed to be a specific black color or only black, 
you can remove some of the color cast by left clicking on here, selecting yourself a color and then pressing OK. As you can see, this top is now fully black rather than it being multiple different colors. <laughs> and there you have it. There is the photo restoration with the colorized filter enabled as well. So far, this is looking amazing. I hope they develop it more and fix up certain areas, for example, when it comes to the background, that is pretty much it. That's how you restore and use the new restoration filter in Photoshop.